So JavaScript itself is a really pervasive technology. Um, it's kind of reached into every part of, of our industry from originally in the client over to the server, up to the cloud, and into our IoT devices. And what I hear a lot from developers is, how do I sort of sort through that uh, really fast-moving innovation? What tools do I learn next? Or if I'm creating tools, where do I get help to uh, support those projects and get people involved in those projects to help me uh, take care of them? Similarly, from organizations that are opening up uh, JavaScript projects, uh, how do they get other organizations involved? How do they get uh, partners to work with them on those projects? And so what, what we think is the solution to a lot of that and what we're announcing today is a JavaScript foundation called the JS Foundation. And what we want to do is focus on uh, bringing a center of gravity for that innovation and uh, giving it a home for a community to gather and uh, sort of sift through and know what's going on in the JavaScript space and where they should be focused next. Also, by bringing those people together, it'll be a, a focal point for collaboration, so it'll help people know what projects need help, how do we get involved, and uh, similarly, by bringing those, that community together and uh, having a focus on collaboration, it, it promotes that continuity and that long-term sustainability for those projects. Uh, also, part of this announcement is that we will be partnering with the Node.js Foundation, uh, which you're probably familiar with, uh, as a fellow Linux Foundation collaborative project. So uh, the, the two foundations will work together under the Linux Foundation uh, on a couple of, of main points. So in terms of standardization, we'll be working together to advance the language through standards bodies like uh, ECMA TC39, um, as well as some of the other web-focused standards bodies like W3C, WebWG, et cetera. 